Hey everybody, um, this is Tina. Um, I'm asking all of you to pray for me for the the deliverance in unclean spirits and contamination and just you know I just I just want to be set free and I, I feel like the Lord's been calling me a fast but uh I failed to fast I'm not failed to fast but you know he's telling me to do like five days water fast and I can only like you know I can't even do one day um so I guess there are always things that need to be cleansed out of my system my soul my body spirit whatever but I wasn't able to do it because I'm so weak so um, that's why you know I'm asking you guys to pray for me that probably be much easier and quicker but I think the more obedient ways to fast on my own terms but it doesn't uh, hurt to have people pray for me for deliverance from this un unclean spirits I don't know what it is but there's probably a few because you know a lot of Christian can be you know have open doors and you know when you accept a th even a slight thought that's not righteous and holy even like any kind of thought that's not whether it's bitter anger or whatever you can like potentially open the door to your enemy and he just kind of like you know he's just kind of living with you and you don't you know you know what I mean so I'm just praying uh, you know I'm trying to keep it a routine um, you know in you know getting myself filtered out weekly because that's why we God call us to fast is because what fasting does it cleanses our body soul and spirit I feel super light I don't feel heavy for some reason it's really weird and um, well not because I I I weigh let less because I wasn't eating food but I I just like I actually feel lighter in spirit and in in flesh too like it's weird but um all that evil thought of like bitterness doubts depression loss or any unclean spirit the spirit of anger or what it's that or forgiveness bitterness any spirit that's not of God or fear or whatever okay it just grows on you and it's just kind of clogging you up from hearing the Lord you know what I mean and so that's why God calls us to fast, so that all oh, this demon can be drained down, like how our energy is drained down. A demon's drained down and removed too, like removed out of the system. And food is really clogging us up. And and uh, and you know, I don't know if I heard this in the Bible or I heard it from somebody saying that you eat to live, but not live to eat. Okay, you just eat enough to live. Okay, I heard that. I don't know if it's scriptural or not, but I heard, I heard this, and uh, I think it 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 play a really important role in fasting. And God doesn't want us to be so focused on eating, and uh, because when we make the food good, and so we eat, and then we get like possessed into it. Oh, we want more and more. Well, we can stop. We can't stop ourselves eating or thinking of food, and the next minute we're obese and we don't get out. You're like. We can't even stop it, you know, and then we come crying to the Lord. <laughs> but uh, that's why he he helped us to, you know, um, tell us to do this for for many reasons, not just for our health, but our spiritual health, too. So, um, you know how I used to have like the demon of lust, like when I was overcoming, like I know, like when I start re being a reborn person, I was walking with Christ. I was trying to overcome the things that I know that God didn't like. And so the demon would come in, he'd be like, you know, he would bring every object, a lustful thought and a, a lustful, you know, way to seduce me, you know, even just, even like random things, you know, so there was a point he would bring Jesus into the equation. I was like, wow, this, you know, he would bring perversion into my dreams. Um, the devil would attack me and he knows that I'm trying to be strong in the Lord. And I know I'm like, Lord, how can I stop this? How can I stop this demon from talking to me and uh, he persuading me? And you know, he's bringing it in front of my thoughts, like in front of my face, kind of thing, you know. And God was telling me fast. And when I fast, all that thought just like gone. So that goes to like bitter anger, pride, uh, you know, selfish, jealous, any kind of 
uncleanness, okay, perversion, and um, and you know, there's there's a lot, uh, unbelief, uh, doubtful. It, there's there's a lot of form of unclean spirits. Um, you know, there there's a whole bunch that's spoken in the Bible. The dumb, okay, the dumb is you know the the spirit of blinding the truth from your eyes, you know, and I don't know, there's a whole bunch of spirit in, uh, in the Bible that's speaking that take captive of us when we open the door to it, like it would pop up a thought, but if we continue to think on it and, and agreeing with it, we are potentially open the door for that uh, spirit of uncleanness to go in ourselves, to dwell in our home. So that's when, you know, and they, these spirits are, are, are not, they're rude. They're, 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 you know, they're rude and they're not nice people, you know, nice spirit. So we got to have to kick them out. They, they don't know. They, they're there to stay and they don't want to leave. So they're rude and they're just disrespectful and whatever. So they're there to just basically destroy you and, and then you need to kick their ass out of your temple. Okay. This body is a temple of God. So you need to start kicking them out by fasting and praying. And sometimes they're too strong because they have a grip on your heart. That's when you get people to pray for you. So that's why I'm calling you guys to pray for me. I don't know what kind of spirit I have going on in here. But I probably have something. Because I feel like I'd be twitching my eyes. And I would like jig like that. You know like I don't know if God's giving me a sign. Like I don't know. But all I know is I'm not fasting. And I'm 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 not getting rid of this demon as quick as I'm hoping or whatever. So I'm asking you guys please pray to the Lord Jesus to deliver Tina Wynn from all unclean spirits, um, all, you know, bondage or whatever, you know, curses and whatever. There's so much. There's just, I don't know. There's generation curse and it's just like a lot of stuff that we don't know, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, please just ask the Lord to deliver Tina from whatever she's going through, like, doubtness uh pray for whatever the spirit is there's there's tons of spirits okay tons of spirits and um and i'm i'm just now learning about those unclean spirits that you know gotta okay that's it bye you guys